And then he told me the whole story, what happened in town, and how he survived. When I took out the town in the night, I came to assess with the trucks, and they started beating them. Whoever couldn't go up fast on the truck, they were shooting. And he was on the truck too. And soon the truck went rolling out from the city. He jumped the t uh, from the truck and he ran into a farmer. And he was hitting under the hay. There was cows over there with horses. And uh, three days he was laying three nights over there till it quiet down. Whatever food they brought out for the dogs. So he took away the food from the dogs and he ate. It was only, like I said, about in miles was about 15 miles only from my camp, our town. So he came to the camp walking, and he told me stories, and he said to me, "Whatever it's going to be, it's going to be. I wouldn't stay anymore in the camp with Jews. Whatever I saw, it, what's happened with our town with the parents, but I wouldn't stay anymore to with Jews." He said. I said, where are you going to go? No money, no papers. They're going to catch you. Where are you going to go? The Poles alone. He was more afraid for the Poles than for the Germans. The Pole recognized you as a Jew. A German wouldn't recognize you when you are a Polish Jew. A Pole, yes. 